day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure right here on the high rack line line i have spotted a mussel shell it's got some lovely blue in it um which uh oh 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 that is nice oh my goodness which uh, i saw some blue ones in my uh, trip to harvey bay last time oh my god that's nice let me bring that back into the sun okay let me just clean that out there we go just got out the sand on the inside my goodness doesn't that look great it's a very dark color i'm trying to show it but it's a bit hard when the uh, when both halves are joined like that anyway it is a very cool i'm just gonna call it a blue mussel shell got some cleanup on the outside obviously but yeah i think that's a fun one to start me off with oh hello first cowrie today just saw him sitting there you know, I wasn't sure when I when I saw him at first, was that a graceful cowrie, like a really big one or like a really, really small blue cowrie? I think this one is, you know what? I think it's just a very, very large graceful cowrie. That's my best guess anyway. See, that's how big a graceful cowrie should be. Um, this one is also like a very nice size. Oh my, look at that, that white right there. That is a healed break in the shell. The shell broke at some stage and the cowrie fixed it. The, the cowrie fixes it with its mantle. It's like this, uh goopy boy bits that come up over the shell and deposit new shell material on top of the shell yeah my goodness that is a very nice graceful cowrie let's grab that one up before the waves obscure it um oh you know i actually oh i'm sorry that was off camera i actually didn't think that would be a very nice one here we go it's actually a fairly decent looking music cone it's quite a good one i think lots of speckles on him my goodness it seems my luck with the minis has not run out yet let's take a look Woo! Oh, okay. Wow, he is a very light color. I was, I mean, I kind of thought he'd be light, but I thought he was a migrating moon snail, and they're usually a dark color. Um, wait, what is it? It's not a migrating moon snail. I think this is like the chevron moon snail, maybe. I'm not sure. That is very cute. Oh, uh, is that one whole? It's, ooh, it is whole. Hello. There we go. Got myself a snakehead cowrie. Oh, he's a bit broken. Okay, maybe he's less than whole. Oh, uh, that's a juvenile snakehead. Also, um, yeah, I noticed this guy. There's also a couple of like grosser looking ones up on the rack line. I'm so surprised. Like, I don't remember a time when I ever saw these kind of like blue mussels here in any kind of like quantity. That's really unusual. Well, I've just been uh, checking the shallow places because the tide is still up a bit too much out there. My goodness, um, that was surprising. Random Hebrew cone right here. Oh my, he looks a little bit damaged on that lip, but yep, he doesn't need almost any cleanup. He doesn't have any periostricum on him. That's pretty dang nice. Also, yes, it is a little crowned cone here I saw. This one's also very nice. He's actually got like no pebbles in there. Wait, is there a snail in there? No, 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 it's empty. It's fine. There we go. Got myself a couple of cone shells. Hmm, there's a couple of cute sea hairs over here just crunching on this uh, yummy rock. I don't remember this rock being here and I don't remember it being like this bright green. It really stands out. Anyway, uh, the sea hairs have found it. Eww, <laughs> squishy. Hello, sea hairs. Goodbye, sea hairs. I uh, might pick up any of this, I see. Oh, that's a nice bit. Yeah, it's a nice little bit. It's a piece of lace coral. Also, I'm very sorry about that wind, everyone. Um, I'm not having much luck in the tide pools just yet because of the wind and the and the uh, how high the water is. So we might uh might check out the rack line again. I don't remember ever finding a bright orange bird, Cardita. Yeah, I think that's uh that's one of them. Yeah, I find like bright yellow, bright red. I find these like brown ones. I, I have picked up one or two of these today already off camera. I don't think I've ever seen a bright orange one. That's pretty cool. Oh, sitting right there. Is it is it a whole one? Um, yes. Ah, uh, yes, I think it is whole. I mean, just a little bit taken off of that lip, but ah, uh, yeah. Got myself a lovely uh, brown bubble shell. Not to be confused with the paper bubbles I've been finding a lot of recently. My goodness, I think these must be a summer shell because I definitely didn't find them in the winter time. I, I really didn't think there'd be much here. The tides have changed. This guy is a broken one. This guy looks freaking fantastic though. I didn't think there'd be any more of these around anymore. I thought that we were done with them. It is another ram's horn uh, from a squid rather than a sea snail. Oh my goodness, that's very nice. Also, I did just see this guy. Yeah, is he whole? He is whole. There we go. Got myself a lovely little textured white moon snail. I just call these guys the Coro moon snail because it's a, uh, ooh, don't drop it, because it's kind of close to their scientific name. Oh, that's shiny. He is 
actually whole. I didn't think you would be. There is even not that much missing on the lip. Um, my goodness, a juvenile cowrie. I think that yellow color means it's either going to be an eroded cowrie or possibly even a ring top cowrie. Well, I was about to mm, sneaky, sneaky, pick up this little bean off camera. Um, he's got like a little smiley mouth. He's the smiley bean trivia. Just saw like, how many of you guys saw this one as well? Oh my goodness, it's teeny tiny. It's like the size of a grain of sand. It's a little Wendell trap, oh my. Um, it might be a Duke's Wendell trap or something from that same genus, I'm not sure. I am also 100% going to lose that without meaning to. It's right there, everyone keep an eye on it. It's right there. Are you still keeping an eye on it? Because I just saw another one. Ah, the <laughs> it's stuck on a piece of, uh, of a twig, oh my goodness. Got myself a precious Wendell trap this time. I'm pretty sure that one is, yeah, it is an empty one. There we go, all right, ciao. Wait, where'd the first one go? You guys you guys keep an eye on it? It's there. It's right. Oh gosh, look at that bean. It is like, it's like a see-through one. Oh my goodness, it must mean that that's like a juvenile uh, bean trivia or something. Oh, they just took my fancy. It's fun seeing them when they're kind of like translucent like that. Another Wendell trap. There's like three back to back to back. I actually just moved that aside and it was underneath there. I'm sorry, I don't feel myself moving aside all these weeds to look for shells in the end. I just filmed the shells. Anyway, wow, it actually looks quite nice. It doesn't have like any significant holes in it like the other precious Wendell trap I just picked up. So uh, yep, we'll put him in there as well. A little slit worm shell. I've actually been quite surprised that I haven't seen these all over the rack line lately um, because I have been spending a lot of time on the rack line lately. I'm sorry I'm not in the rock pools right now, everyone. Anyway, yep, we'll keep uh, looking here before going back into the rock pools soon. Well, I just went flick to get away this like branch stuff. Oh, it was right under it and no one saw it because no one else flicked it. <gasps> oh, it is nice on top, hello. Look at him, he's got a bit of a gunk right there. Can I get that off? Uh, yeah, I think I can get that off. There we go, even better now. Got myself an absolutely lovely migrating moon snail. Uh, these guys don't usually get much bigger than this, at least not here anyway. Wow, I really love these guys. I just think they're super spectacular. Oh my goodness, I just found something. I was trying not to make another micro shelling episode, but there's like, there's so many things here. I just spotted something. I don't know how I spotted it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this little thing. Oh my good golly goodness. This is a shuttle shell right here. I've never found this kind of shuttle shell. I usually find the rosy spindle shuttle shells, the rosy spindle calories. I don't know which one this is. Oh my goodness, it's freaking adorable and little and adorable. <gasps> okay, I love it. It's wonderful. I'll put it in here and hope it doesn't fall out somehow. There is a very pretty scallop right here. Oh my goodness, would you take a look at this scaly scallop? Doesn't he have some freaking amazing patterns on him? Alrighty, he goes into the box as well. Okay, you know what everyone? I'm sorry, this is like, this is definitely turning into a micro shelling episode again. Hello, what are you down at the water's edge? Ooh! I didn't really know what to expect. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like the lip on that is so almost not developed. This is a sub-adult clandestine, but it is a very large one. Also, I'm very sorry about that wind, everyone. Oh my goodness, very, very delicate uh, lip right in there. Oh my goodness, what a lovely one. Gotta see if he dries shiny. Oh, did someone step on you? Oh, he's very nice. I'm finding a lot of very nice, graceful calories today. This is like my third nice one. I found a holly but faded ones the other day, so that's a nice surprise. Uh, he can go with, with my other minis. Oh, it's so windy, I keep thinking my box is gonna fly away. Ah, uh, this guy. Little telescoped dove shell. Oh my god, look at him. He has holes in him like everywhere. But what a decently sized carrier shell that is. Oh my goodness, yes, he's got holes. You can see daylight through him. Anyway, oh my goodness, that is the uh, the pallid carrier shell, I believe. Wow, there is some very surprising things on this uh, smattering of a of a of a rack line of like just a smattering of like the shells around here. Oh my goodness. At this point, I know for a fact, oh goodness me, I don't think I would find like better things out in the rock pools. Oh my god, just like back to back nice things on this like, I think I called it a rack line, I think it's like called a swash line, where the waves go swash swash over the sand. Oh my goodness, got a cat cowrie that time. Oh, look at 
that? I mean, I was like, oh, you know, it's like a ball of shells. How does that work? Is this thing alive? I mean, it's a sea urchin, right? It's very spiky. Can I, like, help you out, my dude? I don't even know if it's alive or not. Can I move this rock? I'm just going to, like, gently kind of try to, like, scoop it out with this shell. I don't really understand if it's alive or not. Oh, oh, hello. Um, it kind of, like, popped off. I think it is alive. Yeah, okay. I'm, like, oh, my God, it's actually, like, beautiful, isn't it, with those purple spines on that green body, isn't it? I'm fairly certain it's a live one. Oh, um... I don't, I mean, I'm sure it's fine to touch. Some of them are poisonous. I don't think this one's poisonous. I think, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm a brave little toaster. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a live one. Yeah, some of the spines are still moving. I'm sorry, Mr. Sea Urchin. I'll let you go about your business again. I think you might have been a bit stuck. You should be fine now, I think. Here you go, buddy. Well, look who we have here. Got ourselves a very cute little brown line paper bubble snail. I'm sorry, I swear I did not touch him. He is at the top of the water there. I think the wind just kind of like made him swirl back in. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, yes, he is very cute. This is actually the third live, or no, sorry, fourth live one I've seen today. So I guess they are, I mean, I was worried for a while because I kept sit finding all of their shells. I guess they are still around alive and well. So that sea urchin was all the way down near that rock wall. I have found pretty much nothing for the last half an hour of looking. Um, it's just really not the right tides for looking in the rock pools. It's better for the sand, I guess. Anyway, I am going to check on the other side of the cliff now, on the other side of the lighthouse. If it's like more of the same, we're going to go back to micro shelling, I think. This is where the wind took my words away. Um, I think I was just remarking about how I completely forgot that the uh, wind was going to whip up some sea foam. I mean, it should have been obvious in hindsight, but yes, there was a lot of sea foam. There was no way to find any shells under it all. Well, there is a little patch here that is thankfully uh, not covered in sea foam. Just saw this guy. Oh, uh, oh. Alrighty, yeah, okay, wow, he is very interesting. I just thought that would be kind of like a boring leafy oyster. Seriously, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna put that in the video. Oh, he's a nice one. Um, I've just been calling these guys a leafy oyster. I am actually not sure if that's right or wrong, but yep, there we go. Oh, hello. This, uh, this little spot that I'm in is usually like very hit and miss for me. I mean, not like this section, but the entire like uh, area around here is always very hit and miss for me. My goodness, look at this one though. Got myself a juvenile Campbell's strombus right here. Haven't really been seeing the strombuses from here in a long time, so that is a super neat one to take. Well, I think I have decided to pack it in, but right on the open side of the beach. <laughs> they're still washing up. There we go, I got myself another ram's horn. That's just like, that is super nice to see, to send me off with, I think. Oh my goodness, screw packing it in one more. And there's another one. I don't know how many more there are. There could just be this many. And this guy, a little bit worse for wear, but yeah, got myself a violet sea snail. Uh, this guy is a broken one. We won't take the broken one. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, <laughs> have a little look under this. Uh, my goodness, there's more little bits of them. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that wind. There's a little one. There's a couple of other little ones in here. Okay, I might just, um, at the end of this, you're probably gonna see like another 20 of these. And that one too, yes, I know I said I was gonna finish it up, but uh, you know what? When you find some nice things, it gives you the will to continue. It's so windy, but these guys are all over the high tide line. I swear, these are not the same ones I picked up two weeks ago. This is a fresh handful. Also, oh, I, I just lost one. Also, is this guy a sea bean? I only know what sea beans are because I was sent one. Um, yeah, that's 100% a hundred sea bean, isn't it? I'm gonna take that because, you know, they're kind of hilarious and they're called a bean. That makes them very, you know, my thing. So here are the shell finds for the other day. And if you've enjoyed them, 
please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more showing adventures. Oh my goodness, everyone. Yes, I did kind of give up after that horrible windy experience, but um, I'm really glad that I did because if I didn't like go towards the, uh, the beach access to get back to the car, I wouldn't have found like all of these ram's horns and all of these little dwarf violet sea snails, although some of them are actually quite large. Oh my goodness. So uh, yeah, I had a fantastic day, but of course it is the end of the video and it's time to talk about a favorite now. So if you do have a favorite, please let me know down in the comments. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, I do want to start with some special mentions like pretty much all of these lovely violet sneeze snails and ram's horns are just special mentions. They're so, so wonderful. Got myself a lovely large carrier shell, a couple of little uh, wendel traps. The grain of rice wendel trap is in with the sand dollars somewhere. Found a really huge graceful carry. Don't usually see them that large. And of course, I really love, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna get it out right now. A lovely sub-adult clandestine cowry. My goodness. But my favorite today, well, 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 it's the one I've never found before. Can I pick it up without everything going onto the grass? There we go, it's this one. My teeny tiny little egg cowry. Oh my goodness, can I even get a focus on it? I don't know if I mentioned this on the day, but this is about as big as they get. They do not get bigger than this. Um, I did some research in my seashell book and it's either the seven spotted egg cowry or the Coleman's egg cowry. I don't know, it's like a, it's a really nice little guy though. Oh my goodness, super duper stoked with the little micro rare mini this time. But uh, yeah, that's it for this time everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!